the Mr. Strikers. Get shotguns out and oh my god, I am so upset. I am not hyped. I am anti-hyped. I am ready to punch someone in the throat because I am very upset right now. Basically, what happened was I was on my phone, right? In school, I was on my phone and a video almost came out. I was on my phone, I was watching YouTube, and I'm like, I'm like, you know what? Let's watch KSX Sounds. There's a new video that came out because it's saying some Black Ops 3 stuff, so I'm like, okay, let's see what we got. And it turns out Black Ops 3. For Xbox 360 and PS3 will not be getting the season pass. That means we will not be getting New Town down, and we will not be getting the new giant map. And to that I must say Bull crap. There is no way. Physically, no way you can sit here and look at your fans and say that you can't do this. Are you kidding me? I mean, look, I understand if there's there's issues, issues with something. I understand if there's not enough room. But you're trying to tell me that you can even provide or guarantee us DLC with a season pass? What? So, let's break this down. Let's take Advanced Warfare. I'm actually holding Black Ops 2 right now, but let's take Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare, right? 60 FPS game in Call of Duty, like every other game's going going to be, except for on Xbox 360, Black Ops 3. So yeah, 60 FPS game. Four game modes. Four. Exo Zombies, Exo Survival, Multiplayer, and Campaign. Four. Four. One we got out of DLC, but four. Next, next we got obviously the four DLCs, all four maps and the bonus map. Map. So we've got that on the Call of Duty checklist. Next up, up some DLC weapons. We got two DLC weapons and a free weapon. Ben, so that is a double check. Next, camos. We got a crap ton of customizable camos. We got about 20 camos. That is also a check. We got so many assets for supply drops. Literally. At least so many assets. 10 weapons or 20 brand new assets. So a crap ton of assets. That is also a check mark. Alright. And also, not only that. Not only that. But it's an emblem editor that was able to go on your weapon too. Also add that for the check mark. Right, were we missing any features? Nope, add that to the check mark, and there is is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Let's go to Call of Duty Ghost. Literally, point to point, checks on all boards. Black Ops 3. What the heck? It's honestly stupid. Oh, you're telling me. You can do all this for Advanced Warfare. Yeah, I won't count Ghost because it was made during 360 era, so I can understand that, but... Advanced Warfare had the same amount of time as you working with this hardware. And you're telling me that it can't be done. I call bull on that. You know what? I don't mind having a 30 FPS game. 30 FPS is what Battlefield 4 is on Xbox 360. And I love Battlefield 4 on Xbox 360. I absolutely love it. But you're telling me you can't have the equivalent to an emblem editor on your weapon, even if you cut down the layers, a gunsmith, a gunsmith, which is just extra assets, less customization than and it has on Advanced Warfare, two game modes, and not guaranteed DLC. The ec the movement in this game is dumbed down. It's dumbed down. Oh, okay, same level if you add the wall run. But you know what? Titanfall had it. Freaking Titanfall had it on 360, the wall run. And it ran just fine. It ran just fine. And you're telling me this can't be done? I call bull on that. This has turned me off of this game so much, I don't even want to get Black Ops 3. At least on 360. And at least not on launch. 
I'm probably later on gonna get it for Xbox One because I'm not getting Black Ops 3, I'm getting Black Ops 2.5. That's how it is. I'm not getting Black Ops 3, I'm getting Black Ops 2.5. That's how, that's how it is. And the only reason I'm not switching my pre-order now is because it's probably too late to switch your pre-order now. Now, and I already switched my Xbox One pre-order for the Assassin's Creed Syndicate. That I'm going to get, and I'm going to play, and I'm going to love it. But, I cannot record on my Xbox One. If you guys don't know when the beta came out, I was not able to record. My monitor, it is, it says D-Y-N-E-X. Dynex? Dynex. X. It is a Dynex X monitor. Dynex monitor, it's, I think it was supposed to be a TV thing, but it has an HDMI port and component cables. I need that for my 360. However, it will not record with it Xbox One. No matter how I plugged in the cables, no matter how I backwards compatibility it, I cannot do it. So we were not able to get at the at the freaking game to play. And you're telling me this can't be done? You're not only screwing over so many fans that still play on 360, and you know they still play on 360. Every Call of Duty is populated. Every Call of Duty. Hell, the ones on next gen, I think, are less populated than the ones on old gen. What? I mean, the same odds of finding ding, a momentum game in Advanced Warfare on 1 is the same as finding it on 360. Activision, gen, or whatever the heck, whatever company is porting over this game. Work night and day trying to give us the best experience. You don't have that much time left. You really don't. Oh, you can still make this game great. You can still fix the game. You could even add campaign later on. Hell, Advanced Warfare did it with their Exo Zombies. You could add stuff later on and make it workable. Just please, 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 please. If you fix all these later on, by the end of the life cycle, I will buy my friends who don't have Black Ops 3. I will buy them Black Ops, Ops 3 because I want to play this game with them. I really do. But by you forcibully taking away features, it's pissing me off. It's really, really stupid. I mean, it, it's, it's really dumb that Black Ops 2 might have more features, features than, oh, excuse me, than Black Ops 3 on Xbox 360. I think it might. Let's go through Black Ops 2. Alright, what did we see in Black Ops 3? Black Ops 3, we saw, oh, uh, uh, we saw the Man of War, we saw the M8A1, we saw all uh, the, AK, a, the AK variant, we saw the Shiva, we saw the Havoc, Vic, and we saw a classified one. That's six, six, six weapons. That is six assault rifles. First of all, that's already less than what we had in Black Ops 2. At least if, I, if I'm know, knowing all the assault rifles, I'm pretty sure I have them all. Yeah, six assault rifles, that's less than what we had in Black Ops 2. Two. Same, same amount of shotguns, I'm pretty sure. Sure, er, we're not having the riot shield. I'm so pissed off about that. We don't have the riot shield. Why don't we have the riot shield? Um, Black Ops 2. You know what? Let's take away guns. You know what? Let's take away them. Four DLCs. New starting map. We had basically five zombie maps on release. Five we basically had. We had Town. We had Bus Depot. We had Nuke Town. We had... Uh, freaking what's it called? We had transit and we had farm. Five maps. We have five maps on launch for zombies in Black Ops 2. Now, sure, you could just say, oh, some of them are cut down. All right, then let's just break it down to two. We got two maps. And you're telling me you can only give us one, Shadows of Evil. I understand Shadow of Evil is bigger. But you know what? If you're going to take something out, take out the Dead Ops arcade you're adding in. 
Why are you adding in Dead Ops Arcade? Nobody played it. Did you not learn your lesson that nobody played that game mode? Nobody likes it. It's just stupid. It's arcadey and stupid. It's good for a good laugh if you're drunk or high or something. But it's not going to withstand the lifespan of the game. What, you're going to add DLC to Dead Ops Arcade? What the heck? I mean, I mean, this is stupid. Actually stupid. Bit. So, we got that. Z zombies. Because then, I'm this sh my channel is going to get screwed over by this game. It's actually going to get screwed over. If because as I won't be able to afford monitor until Christmas, miss, which means I won't be able to play the giant for you guys until Christmas. So this is going to be very, very interesting to say the least. Now, what else did Black Ops 2 add? An emblem editor, an emblem, boom, on new weapon, which is essentially what the freaking paint shop is. It's a glorified version of that. You cannot tell me it's not, because it is. It really is. Is is just increase the size of these are the layers. Help give us. Eight layers on each side if you want to. Give us 16 on the side we mainly see. Give us eight on the top. And then give us, give us eight on the left. Just 32 layers. Give us, give us something. Throw us a bone. And you can't do that? And freaking Black Ops 2, they can do that? And this game was designed for 360? Are you serious? I do not know the legitimacy of porting over games. I don't. It could be a lot harder than what I'm making it out to be. But leave no excuse. It's no excuse. Honestly. And they do say they're trying. I commend them for that. And when I say them or, or he or it, I'm referring to the company that's porting over Black Ops 3. And when I do that, it's just... Oh my god, the noise in the background. I'm honestly about to punch my brother right in the throat. Forget... It's just, when I see this, I'm like, okay, you're trying, but you're not amounting to anything. I understand you're trying, but at least try harder. I mean, Black Ops 2, you're telling me we can't even have Nuketown, the DLC map that's been a staple. It came out for Black Ops 2, for Christ's sakes. And you're telling me we can't have it? Are you mad? How, this game isn't encrusted in golden titanium. I'm not even sure that's a thing. It must be made of some kind of poly polymer where we can't touch it. 360, if it looks at it funny, it blows up. I mean, catastrophes everywhere. I mean, it's honestly stupid. It really is. It is, it is possible. It's shown to be possible in Black Ops 2 and Advanced Warfare. And you're telling me this can't be done? I call bullcrap. And you know what? Just me saying something is not going to say a difference. I just had to let my anger out. I know it's not going to make a difference. Why? Because Activision, at the end of the day, it's all about the money. It's all about the money. They're, they want to make money on Xbox One. They want to bring people to Xbox One. And I think I know. This is a little conspiracy I have right now. Don't you think it's weird that the two games on 360 and Xbox One that were very similar, or they ended up being bad games in Advanced Warfare and COD Ghost used by two companies that don't have the best rep, then Treyarch comes in. The best rep ever. They're like, alright, we want to lure people in to Xbox One. Take away the features. Take them away. Wait, it's a little conspiracy I have, but by now, I would not be surprised because it's been proven time and 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 time again that it could be done. It could be done. And you're telling us it can't. <sighs> anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Tell me what you guys think of this in the comment section below. And tell me what console you're going to be getting Black Ops 3 for. I'm still going to get it to 360. Just give a middle finger to all of you, of you that want me to get it for Xbox One. I will eventually get it for Xbox One. But it will probably be a Christmas gift that I will not spend my own money for. And you know what? I am happy about that. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys liked your new channel, hit the like and subscribe button. Also, to show up potential, hit the same buttons. Anyway, I'm Swift Tracker, and I don't even know what gameplay I'm using, so I'm just gonna throw whatever I can out there. Talk to y'all later. Peace.